Good morning, Watermark Kids. It's so lovely to be here with you this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I'm gonna start out with our Bible story today. And I want you to think about a time when you may have had somebody come over to visit you at your house and you were really excited to see them. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever been like, oh, I can't wait until somebody comes. And, and you have to clean your house maybe, clean up your room, put your toys away. You have different things that you have to do, right? Get ready. Well, we're gonna talk about somebody who had the same kind of feeling um, in, this, in the Bible. Two sisters, Mary and Martha, who were friends of Jesus. And Jesus was traveling with his disciples and often needed places to go and stay. And it was hot and it was dirty and they were stinky and sweaty and smelly but they needed a place to go. And so when they were nearby Mary and Martha's house, they would stop and stay there. So when Martha opened her door, she saw 13 stinky, sweaty, hot, hungry, tired, thirsty men. And they were so excited to be at her house, but there was so much to do. So when you think of 13 hot, tired, dusty, yucky men, what do you think has to be done? So many things have to be done. So first of all, their feet and their hands need to be washed. Go get water, you, you have to go get water to wash their hands and feet. And then there probably wasn't enough, oh, thank you, there probably wasn't enough places for people to sit because often they sat on the floor. So we need pillows. Martha, can you get pillows and just kind of set them around? Thank you. And then there were jars of supplies to open, food needed to be cooked, pots and pans needed to be brought out and prepared. So normally, Martha's sister Mary would help her, but this time she wasn't. So why do you think that is? I'm gonna read it specifically from the Bible and we're gonna find out in Luke 10, chapter 39, or chapter 10, verse 39. Ooh, how did I get into John? Sorry, I lost my page. Luke 10, 39. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. So Jesus came in and there was so much to do, but Mary decided to sit at Jesus' feet and listen to him. She was so excited for whatever that he had to say that she forgot about the cooking and the pillows and the water and the sweeping and the cleaning. But that's important to Jesus, right? He wants us to get to know him. He wants us to spend time with him. So it was great that Martha wanted to do things to prepare for Jesus and his disciples to come. But I think Martha was missing the most important part of the story. So. Do you notice sometimes that when things need to be done around the house and we get really busy and people are about to come over that your parents might get really frustrated if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing? Like, ah, go, go clean up your toys. Straighten your, go brush your hair, you look messy. Well, sometimes we can get upset like that too and Jesus has something to say about it. So Martha came over to Jesus. Come here, Martha. Come here, Martha. Martha was angry and she said, I'm the only one working. Can you please go tell my sister to help me? Oh well, yeah, <laughs> look at how angry Martha is. So let's read Luke 10, 41 and 42 to see what Jesus replied to her. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her. Do you understand? So Mary chose in this case, what was better? And what was better was to listen to the voice of Jesus, listen to the words of Jesus and not get caught up in cleaning and doing. Even though everyone was hungry and thirsty, neither food nor drink nor comfort was the most important thing. The fact that Jesus was there, that they could spend time with him, was the most important thing, because he wouldn't always be there, would he? So even the best dinners get eaten. Things happen and things get done. But Mary listened to Jesus' words and got to know Jesus better. Mary's life would be changed forever, knowing Jesus and his word 
would never disappear. So my friends, I have a challenge for you. In this time where we're stuck at home, we don't get to spend our time with friends. We don't get to go out necessarily, right? We have a lot of time to spend at home. We probably have been doing a lot of cleaning and preparing and cleaning our closets and what can we throw away. But now is the time that we have the time to really sit with Jesus and spend time with him. That might be reading the Bible. That might be just sit, sitting quietly and listening and focusing on him and what he has for us. But this is the perfect time when we're at home to practice spending time with God. You can speak to him, you can talk to him, you can listen to him, you can pray to him, and you can read his word. And I promise you, if you do that and you practice, he will meet you where you're at, just like he met with Mary and just like he met with Martha. So let me pray for the rest of our day. Father God, thank you so much for this morning. Thank you for the story of Mary and Martha. Thank you for showing us that you, you are so compassionate and so good and so full of grace and you love us and you want the best for us. And the best for us is you. And we want you, Lord, so help us to focus on you, to remain in you, and help us to be more like Mary instead of Martha, especially in this season, God, where we have more time. Let us focus on you and listen to you and your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, I can't wait to see you. God bless.